Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, add an existing project or directory to GitHub um, using the command line. Um, so this is where you've built out some content um, and then uh, you realize you want to put it in a GitHub repo um, and uh, you know the steps to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is make, um, make my content. So I have a directory and uh, make a file. So now you um, look. You know, if I if I look here, I have a, I have a. You could have a whole bunch of content here. I just happen to have one file, um, but now so I'm in my example and um, and I have my hello world. So uh, what I would do now is I would switch out to GitHub. So I'd go to GitHub.com or wherever you know if you have an enterprise GitHub wherever you are. Um, and I want to create a new repository and it's going to be called an example just for. sake what we're doing here. Um, public, private, doesn't, these things don't matter. Um, the main thing we want to do is not add any of um, the, the readme nor the git ignore. So I'm going to create just an empty repo called example on GitHub. Okay, so having done that, um, I typically use SSH, which is a, a way to create a private key, public key, and be able to log in without having to actually log in. Um, and instead, we're going to use the HTTPS. So if, if, if you know what SSH is, I'd use that. If you don't, you know, you're probably stuck with uh, HTTPS. And we're going to switch back to um, the content here. And we're going to say, uh, well, Git doesn't know anything about this yet, but I have the Git utility installed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do Git init, which initializes your project. Um, well, before I, I do that, let me do that. Uh, sorry. Show me everything, including all the hidden stuff. So there's no nothing referring to Git here. So I'm going to do Git init, which creates initial projects. So it says, "Hey, we've created Git repository. It's in .git init." This is something you, that Git init folder here is something you kind of want to not mess around with. Let Git be in charge of that. But let's do that. Um, let's look at it again. So now there's this hidden folder um, dot folder they call it, and uh, and it's smart enough to uh, to store changes to all your files. So I'm going to do git status just to kind of see where we're at with that. It should say you haven't done an initial commit. You can do your initial commit. You want to add files using git add. So it gives you a lot of nice instructions. Um, I'm going to use the shortcut of uh, just you know this folder. Add the things that are in in here that with dot. You could say that that's git add all. So the dot is kind of like add everything. Instead of explicitly naming everything, let me just do that. So if I do git status, it now says, oh, you've um, there's changes to be committed. You put something in there. There's a new file. And so you would, here you would see new and updated and all the rest. So once you've done that, you have to, do, um, you have to commit them. So I'm going to do my initial commit. And I'll give a message. And that will say this is... Commit. And call it, you give whatever message you want, you know, my new update, my new feature, my new homework, whatever it is. And it, that adds that. Oh, it's yelling at me. It's saying, hey, you don't have uh, config. Sorry, I should have already done This is a new machine for me. I should have already done that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to skip it, even though I shouldn't. Um, but, I, but I'm going to do that anyways. I'm going to skip it anyways. So now that we've uh, done that, now we want to um, we want to take that HTTPS folder and we want to add that as something that Git knows about. So we're going to say Git and uh, remote, so a remote Git repository, add, and we have to give it a name. So we want to call it origin. That's by convention. That's just what everybody um, names their uh, their GitHub. Um, that if you do that, other developers will know what's going on on your machine. You could name it whatever you want, but that's what people normally do. 
So now I have a, a remote Git uh, location that's um, that's registered, and if I do um, a push or a fetch, it will use those remotes. So if I say get, um, let's see, get push, and I want to push up my content to origin. So using the same name that I just created, and then the branch that we're on or have been on is branches master. So I name my my branch that I'm on, and that wants my username. Password. Let's see if I can remember it. <laughs> remember it the first time. <laughs> um, I usually use SSH, so it's not something I'm used to. So uh, this little message, if you read it, it says that it added a bunch of stuff up to the Git repository. And so if we go over here and go to our top of our thing, um, top of our tree, we said that there's, oops, no, sorry, not that. Um, master, I'm used to seeing more here. Because there's only been one commit. I don't get to see all the other commits. I just get to see this. Sorry. So my hello world file is now up there. So I went from an empty repository, get init, add, commit, and push, and now my content is up here. And if I went back into my folder, let's see, I made a uh, that same so get status to kind of see where we're at with stuff and it's like hey you got one new file so I'll get add oh and before I move on I want to make one change to um, my original hello world and so we'll Instead of being a new file, it says, oh, you've, you've modified an already existing file. So I'm going to add that to everything staged to commit. Commit. Whatever my meaningful message is here, added a new file. some of these commands. Oh, oh yeah. So I like having an SSH up there. And it goes for now. Now see what I was expecting because I don't usually have um, things that only have two files in it. But anyway, so now uh, we see, you know, both files are now up there. So it's my HTML file. Oops. And my changed um, original file. All right. So that's how you can um, add an existing project up to GitHub. Thanks.